everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life and today we are planning in here. I'm going to be planning for this week. You'll see it next week, but I am super excited about this. This is the last week in my use it up uh, kind of challenge month here. So this month I am working with rainbow unicorns and then also the Parisian cafe. I've got like ink swatching stuff all over my desk. So I'll pull out both of those. So I thought uh, rainbow unicorns I would have enough stuff for both things because I did end up doing a sale. These are still on my desk, which you haven't seen this haul video yet, but I ended up getting a ton of Hobonichi style things and they ran out of the rainbow unicorns once before I ordered. So they were totally sold out of those. They will be redoing them at some point, but I don't have those. So I only have A5 size stuff in the cafe collection, but no A5 Hobonichi size stuff for the rainbow unicorns. This is also April, which I will do a video coming up soon on how I'm decorating for April. I've already started decorating a little bit, but I'm not quite done with that yet. And then let's see, Parisian Cafe, I have for my Hobonichi style collection. I will use these for my sticker sneeze planner, my reading log, that type of thing. And that's what this one's gonna be used for. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out of my little flora. This is just a ring, A5 ring from Erin Condren. I love this one. They have other patterns, but this is my favorite of their patterns for the last few years, flora. Okay, so this is the last week and then we are moving on to April goodness. I can't believe that we're that close to April. So I was doing a little bit of goal setting last night. I went ahead and took this in with me while I was just listening to some music and worked on my goals for the week. So I will pull that out and I will talk about it for just a second and then we will get into the plan with me. So as far as goal setting so far this month, skipped a week. Of course, the photo day is not happening at all. Got some goals done. Got some goals done for last week. And then this is this week and I tested out using my fountain ink on the Erin Condren paper and also on the Moxie Life paper. So this is a Franken planner. I've got Erin Condren hourly and then Moxie Life stuff in here. So I'll show you the pen testing here. Look at that, it looks great. I was shocked that it held up so well to the fountain ink. I see like a couple of little dots here and there, but that's totally okay as far as I'm concerned. I feel like that's not a whole lot of bleed through or anything. So I'm totally gonna use my fountain inks on this paper. It's a win for me guys, look at that. I see very little where it soaked into the paper, but never actually soaked all the way through. That's a win, super excited about it. So I did a little bit of reflecting. I didn't follow the cues up at the top, but basically I've been majorly neglecting my goals. I feel like I'm at like energy capacity right now with dance team stuff going on. We're full on in dance competition season. We also are working on recital stuff. The girls have also been sick back to back. I've been redoing this room, which I feel like that takes all of my like extra brain power and energy is like thinking about some sort of bigger overarching project. So this room has been pretty much mostly transformed except like the corner desk side. Everything else has pretty much been changed. I've been doing a lot of reorganizing, a lot of building furniture from Ikea. I did a couple of Ikea trips because of this, actually three Ikea trips I think total. It's just taking a lot of what would be like goal setting type stuff. So technically it's still goals, it's still physical environment, but it's really just taking away from what I feel like is the goal setting ideal is filling this out every single week, having my reflections every week. But you can see even the weeks I filled out my weekly actions, I haven't even been doing the reflections. I've just been like jotting these out really quick and calling it done for the week. And that's basically what I'm saying here is like, I just do not have the capacity to work on much else. Photo a day, totally out the window. Also Japanese practice, haven't been doing that. It's just certain extra things. I just don't have the capacity for it. I have to get that through my head sometimes where I'm like, oh, I'm failing at everything. No, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm getting the basics done. I'm keeping this house run like a well-oiled machine. Kids are happy, healthy. I mean, aside from getting colds and stuff, but I have to remind myself constantly. I don't have to get tons of goals accomplished every single week, every single month, even every single year. I'm already accomplishing plenty. So that was part of my uh, discussion here is like, I just don't have the capacity and I have to let certain things go just to concentrate on the basics and getting the few things done. If I'm not filling this out every week, that's okay too, but I'd like to get back to filling this out every week and having a reflection every week. And then this 
down here are just bullet points of what's been working. You can read that if you can read my chicken scratch handwriting, but it's just some of the things that have helped me stay on top of regular old life stuff. So there's nothing super noteworthy in these goals. They're basically things I'm doing. I did institute the stair bin. Each girl has a stair bin, so I need to put the labels on that. I'm gonna cut some vinyl and I had problems. So uh, I'll show you. This is the sneak peek of a video coming up. <laughs> I used what I had, which was heat press vinyl, and uh, melted it. So that was a whole, whole big deal. I picked it up and my heat press was covered in plastic and this looked like this. And I, yeah, totally botched it. I didn't even think about it not being fabric. It's plastic. Totally botched this basket. Ended up having to order new vinyl because I didn't have any just white regular vinyl, or at least not enough for two labels. So I ordered some, I ended up ordering like ultra matte, which I didn't like, I didn't like the feel of it, didn't like the look of it. Had to return that and order a different white vinyl. So this is my third attempt at getting the baskets done, but I'm hoping this week I can. The vinyl came in yesterday, so I think I can get that done this week. But that's like the main things, like we're instituting the stair bins. We're also changing around bedtime a little bit because by the end of the day, I'm just done. I'm like, I'm fried, I'm done. And they dawdle with bedtime. So we have instituted timers to get us through bedtime, but that's like the main thing. We're also doing the solo practice, but all the other stuff is just general stuff that I'm working towards. I'm really concentrating hard on the health and wellness stuff. I'm tracking macros, I'm using an app, I'm trying to get my workouts in, I'm really trying to do some body recomp, and I'm really focused on that too. So it really takes a lot of what would be like extra mental energy to do that versus doing other stuff. Let's go ahead and look at this week in the EC Hourly. I've got some good stuff going on and I will do like a whole flip through after quarter quarter uh, one. That's what we're currently in is quarter one. So I've got this all on here because this is Easter weekend. I thought I would do like whatever Easter -y type of goodness we're getting into that day. We do have one solo practice. We have one kid's birthday party and we're doing blue bonnet photos. So I might end up putting blue bonnet photos on there. And here's a look at last week. Just like very basic information. It was a lot on the weekends. I feel like once spring hits and dance season hits, it's just like a race to the finish line for the end of school. And this week will be fun because we'll have a little bit of extra time. And yeah, let's go ahead and pull out all the rainbow unicorn goodness. And uh, Cloudlet has a grooming appointment, so I do have to confirm that. I just sent the text reminder, but it's on Wednesday. I already looked up on the calendar. I was like, I know he needs his appointment. So that is definitely on Wednesday. Let's go ahead and do the highlighting. I've already set up a lot of April, which I feel like is really helpful. I ended up getting this. I'll do that in another video, but for this, I'm going to do my highlighting things. I have some travel goodness with me that I ended up taking. I had a couple of times of sitting at the dance studio this last week, so I brought all this goodness with me, and I switched. This one also has a black Energel Cleaner Refill, but this just has the Uniball One Refill. It's just black, but I like the little rose gold clip. So I'm using that one as my main squeeze pen. It's already sort of decorated. Let's see, let's go ahead and do the highlighting streakies, and then we'll start adding in everything. Do I have a ruler? That's a helpful thing. Okay, let's do it. Because it is a weird weekend, I'm not sure we're gonna have a Friday play date because it is Good Friday. We are not gonna particularly be doing anything, but I don't know what else is going on that day. And let's see, as far as decorating this, we put the Easter stuff up here for this banner. She still is going to have one solo practice. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't know if this is a full set of things, but it is, it's a full vertical kit. Okay, so we are definitely going to be having a solo practice, we've already confirmed that. It's gonna be actually on Easter, which is fine with me. Just we're flexible with that. Thankfully her coach is pretty flexible too. And then we're also gonna have a kid's birthday party. Let's go ahead and use a big box for this one. And we're also gonna have blue bonnet photos. I love it. I love doing our blue bonnet photos. This is our eighth year doing blue bonnet photos. So we're gonna do two big unicorns here. 
for birthday and then blue bonnets. And I gotta look at the schedule to see which one's first. I think birthday party's first. And what else do we have? Grooming appointment is going to be on Wednesday. And this is a good opportunity for me to pull out a cloud sticker. Who's got to go to the groomer? And I don't know that I have any right here. There's no clouds on here, just rainbows. Let's see, do I have any clouds? I got a rainbow and a cloud. And I just had a bunch of cloud stuff last time. Aha, uh -huh. okay. My one last cloud here. I'm gonna just stick it underneath and cover up that actual rainbow. No, I'm gonna keep the rainbow actually, even though I just dinged it up a little bit. Okay, that's gonna be his grooming appointment. And then that clears that sheet. That's gonna have his office day Wednesday. I like it when it's usually Wednesday. Covers the main stuff. Oh, you know what? Today is actually our house anniversary. We have lived here four years. Today was move-in day. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that and make it cute. See, just because I wanna document that. And this one's super cute. It's a little kid party. It was a disco dance party. Frozen disco dance party, that's what it is. So I thought that was super cute. Livy was invited to a party this last weekend that was a spa birthday party. So they did little manicures and pedicures and had little spa robes and it was super duper cute. And yeah, the parties are getting super cute now. The girls are getting older. I think that is it for everything on here. So I've got a groomer appointment. And I realized I have not gotten my hair done. I plan on getting my hair done actually earlier this month, totally didn't happen. My hairstylist went on maternity leave. The other girl that I really wanted to book with is totally booked out. Like I have an appointment with her middle of next month, but I really didn't think about it and I have blue bonnet photos. So I'm hoping I can squeeze in with one of my other friends who is a hairdresser this week. I'm hoping I had contacted her and I had some scheduling conflicts and totally backed out of trying to schedule an appointment. So I'm hoping maybe this week I can squeeze that in. This is meal planning. I've been really trying to stick with meal planning on the weekend and ordering groceries and being ready for Monday. So I picked up groceries yesterday. Let's decorate this up a little bit. I already got one little rainbow guy, but I would like more rainbows on here. Make it real cute. And I love that one, a little gold foil rainbow. Let's stick that on Friday. We don't have much going on Friday, thankfully. So hopefully I'll squeeze in a hair appointment, but I, I mean, trying to book a hair appointment around here is like trying to win the lottery. It feels like, <laughs> like oh, I'm always booked out way too long. Ooh, see, like those stars a lot. And these I can save for cloudlet stuff too. I'm gonna go ahead and use all three of these. I need to decorate the sidebar a little bit. I also, I'm not sure about, I don't have the same exact stickers as I have been doing. I've been doing a set thing each week, like you plan to-do list, habit trackers. Oh, I wanted to show you guys what I did with the meals this week, actually. Okay, now I have lots of stickers out. Okay, so I haven't been using this sprouted planner uh, for my content planning. I have been able to squeeze everything into my current content planner, which is just the week size. I was very nervous about downgrading from a big, you know, basically seven by nine golden coil, very thick giant book to a much smaller weeks size. So I was not sure I would be able to squeeze everything into this one. And therefore, when I was planning out my content, I thought I would use the sprouted planner and use this one in conjunction. Well, it never ended up needing to be done. I was able to squeeze everything in here and it's just my one and done YouTube content type of planner. So I decided this week to use this as my meal planner because there are prep steps in with certain days, especially like these are all late nights. So I have to have dinner ready to go, like ready to pop in the oven or in the Instant Pot all ready to go early on. So these ones have steps involved and I wrote out some of the steps and as I go each day, I will write out more things. Like I will prep all the veggies and stuff and get them ready, like on a sheet pan, ready to go. They'll be in the fridge and I can just pop them in the oven. And then the salmon I get is just already pre-portioned. It's something that HEB makes. So I'll just pop that in the air fryer, pop those in the oven and the dinner is done. But that way I 
at actual dinner time, I don't have to think hard about it. I'm like, oh, I've got that sheet pan ready to go. So I spend some time like early afternoon or sometime mid morning, set up dinner as much as possible and let things happen like this. Start the soup in the Instant Pot. I can start the chicken tortilla soup and then leave it on warm the rest of the evening or the rest of the afternoon. Um, so things like that. So I thought this one would work great for that. I do have this side that I haven't used at this point, but if I have like specific meal prep things I wanna get done earlier in the week, I can make a meal prep list. It can also be like a baking or dessert ideas list or lunch ideas. But for right now, it's just dinner and then all the prep that I can do ahead of time and I like having it all written out so I can look at it each day and see, oh, you know what, we're gonna do that. As far as what I've been doing so far, I've just been doing like four recipes and then we've been scrambling around that because sometimes we have leftovers, sometimes we don't. And also it means like the day of, I'm still making decisions. So I went ahead and just mapped it all out. This way it's more mindless. I can be like, oh, I need to prep the veggies today. And then I can do that and I can just walk down the list and I know which days are our late days, which days I can spend a little more time on dinner. And then like weekends, generally speaking, I can spend a little more time on dinner for the most part because um, usually our activities are during the day and then by dinner time, I'm able to work on a nice dinner. So that's how I'm using the Sprouted Weekly Planner. As of right now, we're gonna just test it out this week. Yeah, I guess I don't need that for meals. I'll just make that my little to-do list. So hair appointment is number one. They also need to find boots for both girls. They've both outgrown their boots. All right, so I'm just gonna decorate a little tiny bit and then we'll call this one done. I like these little holograph ones. I like these holograph stars. Super cute, let's see. And I only have two habit trackers because this set didn't come with any extra habit trackers. So I don't have extra ones for this one. Oh, yes it did, okay. Well, that just foils my plan there. I'll have it peeking out from behind these guys. I'm gonna write those in the same four that I've been writing in, even though I don't check them off every day. I keep writing in photo a day, it has not happened, so I'm just gonna put reading, because uh, I have been really enjoying reading as like a wind down activity. Okay, so I'll do that instead. Just finally take off the photo a day. And that is gonna be it for today. So I'm really happy with how this is looking each week. I cannot wait to do a quarter one flip through and I'm going to try my best to start getting back on track, doing the reflections and weekly actions at the beginning of the week. I just have not been doing the reflections and the weekly actions happen somewhere during the week. Sometimes it's like midweek by the time I get to it. So it's not super helpful the way I'm doing it right now, but I hope you guys like this plan with me, getting this week off to a good start. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me along for more planner related videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Happy planning and have a great week. Bye.